<laughs> Moved out of the area. No, we're back home here, folks, at Baycom Center. The Thunder will have three games straight here at home as the Hawks will win the tip. He's also got the ability to pass the basketball in those situations, averaging over nine assists a game. Genrich Williams steps outside and nails a three. He opens up the scoring for OKC. Thunder doing a good job of keeping Clint Capella, who led the NBA a couple of years ago in rebounds per game, off the glass off that miss by Collins. Here is J-Dub from the outside, and how about Jalen Williams? At over 11 rebounds per game. And the Hawks really suffered when he missed a bunch of time with a calf injury. Shea takes a little contact on the arm, and he will go to the line. Hawks went to the well again. Shea over Bogdanovich. And Collins, the rebound for Atlanta. That time, Capella finishes it off. Like you just don't see so many bounce passes from the post. Go back out to the perimeter. Giddy, one of the few guys that can do it as Bogdanovich switches home that three. It was a Thunder victory. Here's Giddy again as they put him in the post. O'Shea had the seal on DeJounte Murray, and Giddy puts a little flare on the behind the back pass. A little bit late, no problem. It was still on time. He is such an accurate passer. Murray, boy, that is a tough drive. <laughs> Holiday. Feeds Collins. He's got a little height advantage. Shoots over the top and gets the bounce. Get the rebound, just run. Because these guys are burying themselves so deep in the paint. How about that nice play? The distribution. Yeah. And then J Dub finishes it off as he rocks the rim. They stood no chance. Yeah, that's tough. One on one coverage. That's tough. And that is a powerful slam. Incredible play getting back, blocking that layup attempt. So this second quarter opens up. OKC with the lead. Little turnaround shot by Okongwu. On the floor for OKC, Giddy, Baisley, Jang, Mann, and J-Dub. And Jang from the outside. He's got his first point since coming back from that wrist injury. Seven out of 11. And speaking of threes, you want to keep Bogdanovich off the three-point line. He's got it back, and he makes the shot. That's his second. Thunder with 24. Jang on DeJounte Murray. That is just a very, very skilled shot from DeJounte Murray. And that has now whipped up seven consecutive points. And, and you know, down the road, as it's going to continue to pass the basketball, fine guys. That's not going to be an assist there. I'm going to credit Giddy with that. So he's got four points, not Jalen Williams. And Murray is feeling good. DeJounte Murray, he's got eight points. Consistent surgical basketball. Going playing in those hostile environments as well. Baisley left open, takes a shot. Why not? Wide open for 14 feet on the baseline. Dort open on the wing. He'll fire away. Lou Dort's got himself a three. Outside Kenridge. It was going to be short, called it out. Offensive rebound by Wiggins. There is Isaiah Joe. He will load it up. You can't leave him open. You just cannot. He will make you pay every time. Well, it has been a fun, exciting, high-level first half here offensively. Wiggins, he's got himself a three. Aaron Wiggins off the bench, so reliable, over 40% on the year. Ten threes. My goodness. Bogdanovich. Boy, that is a tough running shot. It was Wiggins right there on his hip yet again. He just wasn't crashing, and so the, this year the Thunder gave him that green light and encouragement to get to the glass as much as possible. Collins offensive rebound. He's got more. He's got more years in front of him. Boy, Giddy did everything but finish. SGA off the miss, wide open, cans the three. Good box out that time by Lou Dort into the body of Capella. Just moved him away from underneath the basket. Shea, what a move, slithering his way to the cup. Boy, SGA, and then a late whistle. Excuse me, partner, 55 percent. Shea once again sees a crease right at DeJounte Murray, a good defensive player, and Shea gets the best of him. Shea once again wants the screen for Muscala. Attacks, and he's going to get himself another and one. That's a third one. Hey, the Hawks are doing to Clint Capella in the first half. Now Cambridge Williams on the cut. And right back the other way. It is Young finding Capella for the high hard one. On 9 out of 12 shooting, the efficiency continues for him. He's been 
there over the course of the last few games. Murray put his head down, got inside the block. Dort left open again. Capella runs it right off the line. Dort flies in. Offensive rebound. Kenridge Williams gets it right back. He'll tee up the three. Not going to miss that one. Another one for OKC. Bogdanovich lobs it back over to Capella. And Shea sniffed it out. And so did Dort on the back side of the play. SGA puts his head down and then powers it down. You welcome him from three-point land in the length of J-Dub. Caused the problem. Caused the turnover. Three on two. Kenridge flies into the layup. No team has been able to stretch out the lead. Largest lead of the night was seven as Murray comes right back out of the timeout. DeJounte Murray. Giddy fronts that pass. Did not want Capella to catch. That skip pass over to Collins. Three-point shot on the way. Close out by SGA. Now he got there late, but still just to know you can close out on the guy sometimes affects his shot. Well, Shea's been going right at the cup all night long. It's been a story so far in this third quarter. The Thunder get out and transition those types of buckets. Just did not want to stop the basketball as Bogdanovich from three. He's been able to slow him down at all. Gort was inside, little inside-outside game. Now with Giddy with the height advantage. Spins away from Young. Spun right into Capella. Got it back and lays it in. Murray trying to go one-on-one. -on -one. Little creation there with Young. Inside Capella, the quick catch and release. He is pretty solid. Led the NBA in field goal percentage a couple of years ago. J-Dub bounces off of Collins. And how about Jonathan Williams? Young, once again, fires it inside. Almost the exact same play as last time, but it squirts out. Atlanta turnover. J-Dub will keep it himself. And this time he rocks the rim. I mean, and, and Intel is still coming in on him. Certain maturity to his game, despite being a rookie. That's now five in a row for Trey Young. As we saw there in that game summary, leads have been short-lived. Oh, that's right. It's all been all about plays like that. Ball movement, getting those easy buckets. So the first time where the Thunder offense sputters slightly, and Griffin is going to get the bounce. Biggest lead of the night. Nice rejection inside. Murray looked like he was going to pass it. Waited. Does pass it to Okongwu. Late in the third quarter, but Atlanta is on a 20-5 to run. There's a punch away from the backside. Johnson is going to race and track it down. That's a, a turnover out of the timeout. Johnson, and he flies up for the reverse. It's Atlanta converting a turnover into offense. Wiggins open, had the feet set, and drills it. Uh, and a much needed three-pointer. Time to go, just under nine minutes here in this fourth quarter. That'll help right there, as the Thunder have had numerous and ones tonight. Got caught. Oh, that's good defense that time. Busted up that play. Thunder, nice little rhythm here. There's more rhythm. And another jam in transition. J-Dubs had three dunks on the night. Right up on him. Murray can't make his move, and then another turnover. It's a three on one. Giddy will keep it himself and glide in for the layup. We got 16 fast break points so far. Bogdanovich, that is a really hard shot fading away on the baseline. I kind of thought he was a little closer to the rim. Easily step to step outside Murray, and he finally gets one to go from three. Good job of running Bogdanovich off the three point line as he slips inside Capella and off the miss. And that's one of those plays you got to foul. Shea with the defense backpedaling, sent it back out. J Dub underneath it's Basley, and Basley will get the end one. The clock is your enemy right now. J-Dub on the alley-oop, almost had two more on the layup. Great play drawn by Mark Dagnall to get that deuce. But the Thunder in an out.